Hello guys, it's Jerisa. Welcome to my channel. I'm back after such a long time. Today we're going to be decorating the loft or like the little living room area that is upstairs in our new house. We just moved a month and like two weeks ago and we also had a baby two days later. So <laughs> yeah, it's been intense. So I'm going to show you uh, where I got everything and also everything is going to be listed in the description box like this Christmas tree that I'm using. I got last year from Walmart and I'm going to list it in the description box. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to take out this Christmas tree and I'm going to put it together in the little corner so you can see it from the window when you're standing outside and I'm just going to separate it and make it look a little bit more fluffy. <laughs> I have been watching a lot of Christmas videos and I saw somebody giving the tip of kind of like separating it as you're putting it together because in that way you don't have to like do the whole thing and it's a little bit less overwhelming. I was trying to separate it as it was all together and as the tree is a little bit higher like all this fake snow stuff was falling in my eyes. So if you have a flock tree I would recommend to get like a ladder or something so whatever you're separating the branches is kind of like below you instead of above you because these things can get into your eye and that's very uncomfortable. I also forgot to mention that this tree comes with the lights inside which is really really nice and I love how it looks. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to clean the floor a little bit. I'm going to vacuum and I feel like it's better to just go ahead and vacuum as you're decorating because in that way you have less of a mess later. So I'm just going to vacuum real quick and then I'm going to start decorating the tree. I get so caught up in the middle. The Christmas ornaments and almost all the decor that I'm using, I have from years past. I don't feel like you have to go like buy everything new. I mean, if you're into it, that's okay. But in my case, I just wanted to use what I had. So these ornaments that I'm using, I got from Home Depot like almost four years ago. And I'm just going to be using these ones. And the rest of the ornaments that I have are also from past years. And I'm going to try to link as much as I can on the description box. For this year, I wanted to go for a type of like neutral, I don't know if I could call it Scandinavian, but you know, like dark and moody. I wanted to accentuate the wood that was on the floor and also have kind of like a decor that was a little bit more modern than the red and white, which I'm probably still gonna do because most of my decor has those colors. So it's just gonna go on the bottom. Uh, the rest of ornaments that I'm showing you, I got from Walmart. I tried to list as many as them as I could. Like the little snowflakes are from Walmart and the little reindeer I got from the Dollar Tree and I just love how this tree turned out. The little rug that I'm putting on the bottom I got from Ikea and it's listed in the description box. Now I'm going to be working on the couch and I love the way on how this couch looks. It's actually a new couch. We just got it like two weeks ago and I love it. It's like a velvety black fabric. This is on the second floor and all the pillows that I have on top of the couch are from Amazon except for the little rectangular one. And then the blanket that I have over there is from Target. I have everything listed in the description box. The little Christmas pillow that I'm using I got from Amazon. First of all, I thought it was going to be a little bigger. And I didn't show you guys that, but I was struggling for like 10 minutes to put the little pillow inside of it because it didn't come with it. It's just like the cover that you get from Amazon. It's a little flimsy, but it does kind of do the job. And I feel like it looks really nice together with the other pillows. And it's just the same vibe that I was going for of the black and white. So I like how it looks in the end. Now I'm going to vacuum real quick and this is going to be it for the first day. And then on the second day, I'm going to start working on the vanity. I'm just going to undust this TV stand real quick and I'm going to start decorating it. Most of the things that I'm going to use for the TV stand I had from last year. The only things that I knew are like the black reindeers, the little tree candles and also some coasters that I put there. But everything else is from previous years and I'm going to try to list as much as I can on the bottom. Thank you. 
Also, the little black candlesticks that I'm gonna be using are from Amazon and they are listed in the description box. I made a couple of videos last year decorating for Christmas and I kind of just show you guys like when everything was done and how it looked. I didn't show like the process of trying and error. So this time I decided to show you like more in depth how I do things. And usually the way on how it works, at least for me, is that I just put something there and I kind of just look at it and I'm like, if I'm convinced from the first time I keep it on and if I'm like, yeah, then I just take it off. So that's what I did this time. I laid a garland on top of the TV stand and I kind of like wasn't into it because it seemed too small and skinny. I was trying to go for kind of like a forest with like trees and I wanted to make it look full. So when I saw that the garland wasn't big enough, I decided to swap it out for another one. So the garland that I'm using is this beautiful green and white garland that looks like it has snow on the tips. I got these little trees in store at Walmart last year and sadly I couldn't find them again. I listed a couple of similar ones that I found. So like I said, I was trying to go for kind of like a forest, so I just kept on placing the trees, making it look like a little forest in there. And I also added these little black reindeers that we got this past weekend. I love how they look. I wanted to find like two smaller ones to make it look like a family of four like us we have, because we have two babies. But I couldn't find smaller ones, so I just kept these two. And then on the other side, I'm going to be adding the little candle holders and the Christmas trees that I found at Crate and Barrel. Oh, I forgot to mention the little reindeers are from Crate and Barrel and also the little tree candles. I feel like these candles are so pretty and they look so nice in the black holders. You can kind of like not, not even tell that they are there because they are white, but they look really nice in person. And each one of them has like a different shape, so I love that. Christmas in my heart, this year I, I also wanted to add these fairy lights. I had these ones also from last year. I list them in the description box. I got them from Walmart. And I just love the look that they give. I feel like they make everything look a little bit magical. So I really like how this one looks over here. I had another one left so I wanted to kind of do something on the little shelves inside of the TV stand because I felt like it looked a little plain. Like I said, we just moved here like a month ago so we don't really have like anything on the walls or anything like that. So I decided to add this little geometric ball that I got from Walmart. This thing is so pretty. And the little frame that says Merry and Bright uh, in black and white, I really like it a lot too. I got that one from Home Goods last year, so unfortunately I don't have a link. But I also decided to add these two coasters because we don't have a coffee table yet, like it hasn't come. So I just kind of played around with it because I wasn't sure on how I wanted to lay all these things down. But, you know, I just kind of like moved it around until I was satisfied with it. And I'm maybe going to change it eventually, but for now I feel like it looks really nice there. So I also wanted to make kind of like a little village. So I had these little houses that I got from Dollar Tree last year. They are made of ceramic. And I also had these other trees that I got from Walmart. And the other ones that are like thicker are from Home Goods. And the little ones that light up are from the Dollar Tree. So I just kind of wanted to make like a little village. And I felt like it looked really cool because the rock looks kind of like a mountain covered in snow. I don't know if I'm imagining things, but that's what it feels like to me. So I just kept on adding these combinations of little trees to try to make it look like the snow was falling and it was a mountain and, you know, kind of like Colorado. Um, when I was done laying all the little houses, I also laid a couple of twinkle lights that I had and I feel like it looked really, really nice. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Whoa. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yes 
So now that I'm done with that, I'm kind of gonna, gonna put all this Christmas decor away and I wanted to show you the process because sometimes you just see like how pretty things look but you don't see the mess behind and I just want you to know that you can relate, like it's not only you, we all make a mess. So I'm gonna quickly put all these things away and then I'm gonna vacuum the floor. Ooh, these are the good times with you Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and I'm going to move the little rug that I have. Even though the rug is a little bit small, I love the colors that it has and the little design. And this is what everything looks like. I love how the room turns out. Again, as I said, I'm going to get a bigger rug and we have some coffee tables coming. But this is what everything looks like and I love it. Uh -oh. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found some inspiration. If you do, please give it a like and also check out my other ones. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye. I'm showing the video. There's Cristobal. You like it? <laughs>